So, plan today is get that beast hooked up to it, loaded up with the stuff, and then head up to the Midlands. I'm really not looking forward to trying to get that caravan across that mud. See if you can see this. Look at that. So it's been continuous rain here for oh, probably about three weeks now. So everywhere is absolutely sodden. And my voice has just gone. <coughs> Puddles everywhere. Let's hope that mover that I've got on the caravan can get some traction. It is actually going to be a four wheel drive. Each of the wheels have got their own independent motor on them. Oh well, let's get some kit on. Let's get out there and give it a go. It's just a bonkers amount of kit, gear, bags. Good job the van's massive. It's a bit odd in that really why am I using a caravan if I've got the camper well in the camper we don't have this much space now it's a bit messy at the moment because I've got all the gear that I'm going to be taking up north we've got cooker built in which I don't yet have in the bus also have built-in fridge which again don't have in the bus more bedrooms for the kids and then in here we have a full size shower, sink, and toilet. Again, all of these are features that I don't have in the bus. Now I'm going away for a month, so I'm going to be working as well in an office. So I want to be presentable, and this gives me the comfort to be able to stay warm blown air heating and yeah should be all right for a month right then. so to give you an idea of this how big it actually is this is a six berth caravan twin axle and it's going to be mated up to the t5 long wheel base now this is going to be the first time that i've towed that caravan with this t5 so a little bit apprehensive. Also got the lens covered in water. So let's get uh, let's get the rest loaded up and then we'll see how we can go with moving. Right, it's actually so wet out here today that uh, I thought I'd better switch over to the GoPro. That's waterproof, properly waterproof. So let's get these legs up. Tell you what. Good job of grease all of these legs. Go up much easier. Let's see focus. Caravanning. Ideal time for sunny weather and get away in a nice drive. Not today. Right, ready to test the motor mover. Right then, now the nervous come good bit come crikey, it's really bad. Let's see if we can get it to move. It's been stood for almost a year now. So 
so we just had a bit of an accident. Oh, no. Damn it. Really needs two people doing this. At least. Oh well. Crack on. So now the tricky bit. Tricky bit. Taking the gate off. I've now got to get this caravan through this gap. That's the trick it done. Might have to, there we go. Richie Rich, always forget the lens. Right then, so here's my little trick. What I've got to do is line up the tow bar with the tow hitch. So I've got to try and make sure it's not left or right of it, or it's right height and all that malarkey. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the camera. Pardon me, stick it on the back of the truck in Bluetooth mode, looking down at the tow bar and then hopefully, hopefully be able to line up the two and look at it through the camera. That's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, so we've got the camera, we've got what we can see, so you can see my camera now, looking back at you. All I've gotta do now, stick this on the back end and then I should be able to see what I'm doing. Let's give it a try. That's right. Okay, so we're good. The only thing is, it's a really slow connection, so we're going to have to take it dead easy going backwards to see what I'm doing. I can't see it yet. Okay, wow. Looks like we're pretty on the ball straight up. That's jolly fortuitous. Oh. I think we're there. So, last bit, we've got this electrical connection to go between the car electrics and the bus. The bus is on an old 7 pin, the caravan's on this new 13 pin. So there's a conversion that goes on. So we've got seven pins at the back, sorry, seven pins at the back into a 13 pin conversion. It does mean that only, only the lights will work. That's what we need to take off the Oh yeah. Hazards on. We've got an indication on here showing we've got multiple lines. Check. Yeah, bus is working. Indicators flashing on the back, that's lucky. Hopefully, with all this rain, it'll wash off this mud that I've put on the van and moving around. Right then, folks. I'm packed up, I'm good to go. Don't be sad, don't cry. Now, that's okay, be good. Look after Tom, look after Rosie, look after Clarabelle. You're in charge now, okay? Mm. Good boy. Come, here you go. See you later.
Oh, I think I'm finally ready. So, first impressions. It doesn't actually feel that bad, you know. I'm driving along now. <laughs> it's rolling really easy. I can feel kind of like uh, an extra bounce, almost, with the wheel, as if, as if I'm really heavily loaded, which of course I am. But as far as finding it difficult, this is this is this is cool so far. So, of course, flat road isn't really much of a challenge. The first challenge will be when we get to those hills. 8:30, out of Cornwall. If you get through those, okay. Then there's going to be no problem. luck would have it there's actually single lane traffic on the 830 coming up to one of the hilliest bits and you can't go more than 40 miles an hour anyway so getting up the hill which is one of the steepest ones that I have I was a bit concerned by doesn't now look like it's gonna be much of a bother so change down and here we go Down to third gear here. One of the bigger hills in Cornwall, but really struggling. I've got one, one bigger hill to take. This is the last of the big hills just managed to get up it so uh, so yeah that's it now next junction is the M5 North and then what have we got uh, probably about another four hours and I'm in the Midlands Been a bit miserable on the way up so far, but thankfully now we've got sunshine. Well, just about anyway. Just about see it coming through. Yeah, nice. Always makes it an easier drive when you've got a bit of sun on your side. Right, bit of a calamity. Found out that the uh, side door's open on the electrics. So I hope I haven't lost the key for the mover. That's lucky. That is lucky. Okay. That's a bit of a faux pas. Right then, let's get uh, let's get back on the road again. Right then, here we go. Right, we're off. Luckily, we do that window up. Oh no! No! Now we've got the window stuck. Oh god, what's going on today? Oh well. I was going to say, 
unfortunately that key gets uh, is a lock in, in place so it was locked in so no biggie after all. Now with the blinking blip, come on, window. Ah, ha, ha. Gotta know where to touch it. There we go, sorted. Let's crack on. Well, we're well up the M5 now. Sun's out again and even, even, it's gone in a bit now, but there's a rainbow coming up there somewhere, I've just seen it. made it up here and uh, as you can see it's now dark it's a bit of an interesting journey and uh, yeah longer than I'd have expected but here now just got to get the water in heating's on so it'll be nice and toasty by the time I've got something to eat awesome 